Hi and welcome back to Step by Step. Um, in, in an earlier video I, I talked about maintenance and um, uh, which is all fairly straightforward. Um, I, I described what I call a weekly change so it's what, this is all about what I do okay there is no rule book about this so I'll make, I'll make that clear in the first place. So my weekly change or uh, maintenance is to do a uh, water change. So I, I normally, on a 30 litre, I, I reduce the water by uh, 10 litres and I put fresh sort of, uh, 10 litres back in into the, into the aquarium. Uh, what I do also on the weekly now is I also take out the sponge filter in here and I give that a squeeze to clean out uh, any sort of waste material and I, I squeeze that in a, a small bowl containing aquarium water. So that's my weekly. Um, then there's the monthly and the only, so, so you do that, that's your weekly, you know, that's uh, your drumbeat, we'll say. Okay, that's, that's the drumbeat of doing a weekly change. Um, on a monthly basis, what I, I do is I take out the, uh, the sponge filter, the whole central part, and I replace the sponge filter, but also the uh, the activated carbon, which is uh, the black material that you find at the bottom of your uh, your filter system. So I replace that on a monthly sort of basis. I described in an earlier video that I, I do something what I call what I call a three monthly, um, which is a bit different to the rest. And the difference between well, the three months and all the other ones is that on the three month one I take out all the ceramic media and I, I give it a clean and then I put it all back in again. So so this video is about how I do that. Um, now let's just talk about what you need uh, for this. So um, in more recent videos I, I've talked about the value or the if you like the importance of, of using the vacuum. Um, I, I, I really, now I'm using this all the time, I, I really I really say that these are an essential things because they're so cheap, why would you not get one of these? So, so definitely get a vacuum, uh, see my vacuum uh, video where I described uh, this product. Um, what you also need is not only a, um, a hose, because that's now how I do a water change, but also uh, the filter bag uh, for cleaning up materials. So for this three monthly, you, you need both of those things. Um, I changed my water buckets. Uh, my other old water buckets have gone into retirement. <laughs> so, uh, because I, I needed something that was clear for videos uh, so that you could actually see through. So, so now I have three, video, uh, three buckets. Um, yeah, so uh, they all have lids as well. So um, for for I, I'm I'm going to suggest for this three monthly that you actually need three buckets, and I'll I'll, I'll I'll describe why, and I'll also describe why I think it's quite useful to have lids. You don't have to have lids, but uh, but lids are I, I think are quite a, a good thing to have. So normally, if you see my videos, I mark up my buckets with uh, permanent marker pens uh, to show uh, litre sort of volumes because it's these sort of volumes that I'm using and not all my buckets have it, you know, you'll see it's written all over. Um, so, right, the smaller bucket, which is this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to extract out of here around about so up to five litres of water and I'm going to put it into this bucket. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out the ceramic media and I'm going to put it in this bucket with the five litres of water. So, so that's what this bucket is for. Um, I do have a, I, 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 um, I have a lid for this, that isn't the right lid, but I have a lid. No, it is the right lid. So I have a lid. Um, and, and the reason I May, uh, maybe use a, a lid is just to keep the temperature of the water that I put. I'm, I'm not saying that um, your ceramic media and uh, the um, uh, beneficial bacteria are really going to be adversely affected by temperature, but 
you know, uh, you could use cling film you know, uh, to uh, to achieve the same thing. So that's what that that's what that little bucket's for is to, is to deal with the ceramic media. Then I I use one of the other buckets. So as I said, three. So here's here's, a, here's another two buckets. What what you need to do before you take out the ceramic media is you need to take out everything in your aquarium. So you, you need to take out all your plants, if that includes real plants, snails as well. <laughs> um, so your um, everything in your aquarium apart from um, initially the ceramic media and also uh, the central air system. And it doesn't really matter which bucket you put it in, but you basically need to put that all in, into a bucket. The third bucket, because I, I, I normally work on 10 litres, on, on a 30 litre, I, I normally work on uh, a water change of 10 litres. So, so I've already, as I described, I, I'm going to take out 5 litres, that's going to go in one bucket, that's where the ceramic media is going to go. So I will, still will want to take out um, one more 5 litres. So that's a total of 10 uh, litres that I'm taking out. So I need another bucket. And what you'll find is that this, the, one that, the, the water that goes in here is probably going to be the dirty water. Um, all, all the water that I'm extracting will all go out and, and feed my plants. So it is all dirty water and it will all be replaced. Just one more thing to add before I start. Um, and there isn't such thing as a three month, you, you know, it's only, it's my, it's what I describe about what I do. Um, whether you need to do it every three months uh, depends on a range of things. It depends on, on how many fish you have. So if you've got an aquarium of 30 litres, 60 litres or whatever size it is and you only have one fish in that aquarium, the idea of doing this level of cleaning um, with that amount of fish is probably a bit over the top. In my view but if your aquarium is reasonably stocked like mine is now I I have um, sort of a one garami in here and also sort of five uh, rasbora uh, sort of fish in here so that, that's sort of reasonably stocked for this size aquarium so you, I, I work on that three monthly sort of basis so uh, what dictates how often you do a water change are how many fish you have and also to a reasonable extent your any issues you have with nitrate so in my other videos I talked about this increasing nitrate which is the problem if you like that you need to control through water changes which is because of all the waste product uh, from the fish but also the uh, the, uh, the waste food and, and you're trying to lower or, or keep that nitrate sort of level down as material builds up in the sun, under the sun media, and it will in the bio. Um, if you like, that's one of the, slightly one of the problems with bio that that the material does actually build up under here, and that all adds to your nitrate sort of level, which is why I do a three monthly to get rid of that material. Okay, so step one: small bucket, a vac, um, a vac with um, the ability to extract water. You, you can use a, um, a normal siphon for this as well but you know I tend to use this now so that's my first job so there we go all very easy so that's it so that's that's roughly five litres and in this bucket is where my ceramic media is going to go um, as I said, I, I do prefer to use a lid, um, and there isn't any real reason apart from um, uh, bacteria survive better at certain temperatures. Uh, as I said, I'm not saying that bacteria are all going to die because uh, you let the temperature slightly cool. So I just like to put a lid on it. So, so that's step one. Step one. Now, uh, there's two reasons. Uh, there's another reason that I extract the the amount of water I, 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 I've just done. Because to take out the sonic media, you're, you're going to... I'll do that bit again. No, I won't. I'm just going to go with it. So, um, the reason I uh, part of the reason I take out five litres is to lower the height of the water. Because I'm going to be putting my hand 
right inside and taken out ceramic medias by the handful, okay? I don't want water, uh, if, if you like, pouring over the top because I'm sticking my, my hand and my arm in. So, so, that's, so, so that's the second reason why I, I take out uh, five litres on a, on a 30 litre. So the next job is to take out everything in here, including my real plants, including my snails, and anything else, but not the fish, and I'm gonna put it all into this bucket. So that's what I'm gonna do next. Right, so there you go. Um, I've taken out everything. Um, uh, my snails are in here, my plants are in, my real plants are in here. Um, everything that was in that aquarium is now in this bucket. Um, I've not added water because you don't need to add water, but I do like to wear, I, I do like to put a, a lid on the top of that. It doesn't have to be a, a lid, it can be like a cling film. And the, and the reason I do that really is more about the live plants. Uh, the snails are fine. Um, but so, so there's no water in here, it's just uh, the moisture from uh, that I took out when I took the plants out. So, that, so, that's, so that's those sorted out. So there you go. Um, only thing left now are my fish, wondering what is going to go on. Uh, my ceramic media, I've got my heater in here still, I'm just going to leave that in for now I think. And I've also got my uh, filter system. Um, I, I'm always in two minds about the filter system. Whether, um, because you're gonna, the water's gonna drop another uh, five litres later on. So um, that puts the tube um, above the height of the water. Now, what you, uh, there's two ways of doing it. And I don't, actually, I, I don't think there's a real difference. Um, and it depends how dirty your ceramic media is, in my view. You, you, could, uh, you could leave the, uh, the filter system and the airflow running as it is. Um, it, and particularly if, you're, if there's not, in your view, if there's not a lot of material or waste underneath your ceramic media. I know that there's not a lot of waste under my ceramic media because I, I weekly use a vacuum now and that solves um, a problem. I think you'd have been surprised what this looked like, um, what, uh, what the, month, uh, the three month big change looked like without a vacuum. Um, it, there is an, um, the amount of material waste is, uh, is is quite unreal but anyway so we're going to see it's quite interesting because this uh, uh this tank now is uh this aquarium is about three months old um it was in march that i did a video about setting this one up so we're now uh, we're now in uh, july so it's early march I, I set it up and first introduced the fish so we're now in july we're around about the three months or just over uh so it, it's time for that change so i, I have not done this change that I, I, I'm going to show. Um, so I, I'm quite interesting to see. I'm quite interested to see how how my regular use of a vacuum has changed the amount of material that's under there. As I said, going back to my other point, which was, do you leave this in uh, the filter system, the, the airflow system, or do you take it out? I, I'm going to take it out because um, uh, the reason is that. If, you're, if the material on your ceramic media is, is quite heavy, uh, when you take out your ceramic media, this water is going to get very, very dirty. Okay? You've got fish in there. Um, another thing I, I just wanted to mention, and, and somebody asked this in the, uh, the comments, should you take out your fish? Uh, my personal view on that is that you should leave your fish in. Um, uh, there's two reasons why I think that. I think I think taking your fish out here and putting them into a bag and all that sort of stuff, I think is more stressful to the fish because they you know they live here, so that uh, this is their environment. So I think you know catching them, putting them into a bag, and doing all that stuff, put them somewhere somewhere else for another while. I think I, I personally think that is more stressful to the fish than leaving them where they live, if you like. Um, so that's the first point, and um, uh, so particularly with my other aquarium, and I think also with, with these fish, 
I, I, I know this sounds weird, but I actually think the fish actually enjoy <laughs> what we're about to do. Um, they, you, and you'll see, I'm sure you'll see, uh, you, uh, certainly in my other aquarium, it, it's almost like a holiday for them. Uh, they love just rooting around in all the rubbish that's at the bottom. So, so, so my preference is leave your fish in, okay? But I am going to take out the, um, um, uh, for this video, I'm, I'm going to take out the, uh, the central system, but I will leave the airflow running because to keep the water oxygenated. Put my lid on. There, done. So, um, I've, so now I've taken that out, but as you can see, I've left the airflow running. I, I, I think it's quite important, especially if you're, if you're going to uh, stir up lots of um, uh, nut uh, sort of nutrient and other, and other material to keep the oxygen flowing through that water. So the, so the next step, step two, is it step two? Maybe it's step, th step three. Step three is to take out the ceramic media and put that in bucket number one. Okay, so bucket number one. So this is the one with the ceramic, uh, the, uh, that the ceramic media is gonna go in and it's got aquarium water. Do not ever think that you can clean ceramic media with tap water. You will wipe out all your bacteria and it, it, it will just kill it all. Uh, you will have, you, you'll almost go back to starting a new aquarium from the beginning if you do that. You've got to look after your bacteria that, that live in your ceramic media. Uh, and, th and that's partly the reason why we're doing the water change. It's A, it's to get rid of all the, the, the waste material underneath the ceramic media, but it's also to clean all the little air pocket, oh, sorry, all the little pockets in the ceramic media that actually start to fill up with waste. And by getting rid of that, it makes the, uh, the, uh, the ability of your beneficial bacteria to function um, is a lot better with cleaner ceramic media. So, okay, okay. Now you might see already the start that the waste is starting to, uh, to float around in the aquarium. If, if you haven't been using a vacuum, I can guarantee, I've put money on it, that the amount of material you're getting up at this stage into your water is far worse than what is happening here. Okay, so there you go. Um, that's nearly every bit of summit media taken out. It's all in this aquarium water here. Um, like this. I'm gonna keep my lid on. Now, what, what you now have are you just, now, now you're down to the basics, <laughs> which are, which is your fish, uh, a load of dirty water, and a bit of, in my case, it might have been your case, but a, a little bit of algae. You see this sort of brown stuff down here? Now, um, I, I have talked about the benefit of uh, using uh, cleaning pads, which I, I really like actually, the, the Biob sort of cleaning sort of pads. Um, uh, I suggest you get these. Um, they, they come in packs of three, they have a rough side and a smooth side. Uh, if you're trying to get rid of algae or stuff that's quite stubborn, if you like, um, use, the, use the rough side of the pads. If it's just for a general cleaning, just use the smooth side, you know, the, the soft side. So, so these are quite good if you've got a, a particularly green algae, I would say. Uh, brown algae uh, tends to come off a lot easier. So, so you can use this just to give the tank, the in, inside of the tank, a clean. And I, I suggest you do this now because we are still going to take out another five litres of water yet. So you might as well give everything a good sort of clean and um, you know, get that water dirt, as dirty as, as we can. That's what we're trying to do. So I'm, I'm just going to give everything a clean. Okay, so I've given, I've just given every, all the surfaces a wipe down really. So I, I've, cleaned in, I, I've cleaned the inside of the glass. Um, don't use on, these on the outside of your aquarium. Use these only on the inside of your aquarium. Now, you, you'll see that there is, um, the, there's a lot of material just floating around. And this is the point where, if you're English, you go and make a cup of tea. Because 
if you leave this, if you leave this, if you leave your aquarium for about sort of five to ten minutes, all this stuff is just going to slowly sink down to the bottom, and that's where we need it. We need it out of the out of the um, uh, the water. It's uh, out of the water column, and we need it all down the bottom. So this is a time to go and make a cup of English tea or coffee, uh, and just let your tank just settle down a bit. Okay, so this is our, uh, this is five minutes later now, uh, and apologies for this, this camera, that's uh, uh, closer and, and looking at, at, at there, so. Um, what you'll notice, even after five minutes, that the vast majority of waste will, will have sunk down to the bottom, but that there will be still the smaller particles uh, will continue just floating around in the water and the, there's only one reason why that is happening and that is because of the of the airstream uh, flowing it's basically keeping those smaller particles in circulation within the water um, uh, within the water so uh, in at, the, at this stage you have two options really because it really what what you'd like to do what ideally you want to do is is get that stuff that's in suspension to sink down to the bottom so um, it all adds up to being the same thing but what I suggest you do is you either turn off your airflow uh, it will not have an impact on your fish uh, you know for this for the next, uh, the next five minutes it will not have an impact on your fish or you can put back in your um, uh, filter system screw that back in um, and, and that will only work because largely uh, the top of your the tube will almost be at the top of your uh, uh, your aquarium. So it, I, I don't personally think it makes any difference. So I'm just going to turn off for the next for just the next five minutes. I'm going to turn off the airstream to to allow those particles in, uh, that are in suspension to sink down to the bottom. There you go. I've turned off the airstream, <laughs> so the air, so the airstream is now off, um, and you will find within the next five minutes um, that all uh, the vast majority of that uh, suspended uh, particles, the finer particles, will sink down to the bottom, which is where we want them. We we want to get rid of them. Uh, so that so we're going to leave this for another five minutes now with no airstream on. Okay, so now we're. It's another five minutes, so we've had five minutes with no airstream on, and I think mo or the vast majority of of the um, of the the waste and other material is now at the bottom of the aquarium. There's very little after ten minutes in total um, that is still in suspension. So that's exactly what we want want to do. So the uh, the five minutes without the airstream on has allowed that that material to sink down to the bottom. That only leaves the last bit now. And what we need for the last bit is we need to use either a um, a vacuum, uh, which is what I tend to use for the majority of the time now, or you can use a uh, siphon and we need to uh, clean up all all this waste and get rid of it. So, for if you're using the vacuum, you need to replace the hose with a filter bag, and that is what we're going to do next. Yeah. So, okay. So we're going to use the vacuum. Um, I'm going to set the vacuum height for for what I need, which is to clean the bottom. So I'm going to adjust uh, the vacuum height, which is there, and I. Um, I'm going to set that just to vacuum up all this sort of waste material. So there we go. You, uh, you can see from the colour of the back, <laughs> the back uh, in here how much waste is being extracted. And, uh, and all this material, in effect, is uh, what's causing your, nit uh, your nitrate 
uh, sort of levels in your aquarium. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to clean inside here um, uh, the base of the, uh, the filter system. Um, it's quite a good way of getting stuff that's trapped underneath. Because if you didn't know, the, uh, the bottom of this uh, container has fairly large gaps in. So, so you, can, you can put your, uh, your vac in, 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 inside those holes uh, to, get, to get rid of the material. So that, yeah, they, I think really, um, yeah, I, mean, I mean, there's no point in going totally over the top, you know. Uh, this is about getting rid of, I, I would say 90% of your um, stuff at the bottom. It looks like a tea bag. It's it's so, it's so full of rubbish, and I would say, really, for the majority, uh, sort of reasonably, that is all you need to do in terms of sort of clean. I mean, you never. There's no point in just spending ages just trying to clear up, yeah, clear up something. Um, you know, uh, you need to keep a bit in really for your uh, for bacteria and ammonia anyway. But you know, so. It, it, it's about just having uh, taken the majority of your uh, your waste material out. So that is that bit done. So th so this is all fine. Um, I, I can quite happily put the uh, the uh, the airstream back on. Uh, we still we need to drop this by another sort of five liters. That, I mean that's just going to take out some of that material that's still floating around so I just need my uh, another bucket this is bucket number three bucket number three and again I, I just need my uh, vac And that's it. Now we just need to put back the ceramic media. So there's our ceramic media. Um, I'm just going to give this a little bit, just rinse round. I'm just going to grab a handful and then I'm going to put that back into the aquarium. And I'm going to carry on doing this until all this ceramic media is back in the aquarium. So each time I, I take out a handful, I, I just give it a sort of a, a rinse at the top, if you like, of the water, uh, just to help any sort of waste material that's there, and then put that back in. Okay, so that's all the ceramic media is back in. There's quite a bit of sort of dirt and material, well you'll see it when you do it, but you know, uh, there's quite a lot in the, in the water that we took out. Again, um, get that to your plants. What we need to do now is do everything in reverse, if you like. So, so we need to put the, uh, the, uh, the uh, sponge filter all back in, put in our um, our decorations and those sorts of things and then we need to top the 10 litres that I took out in my case uh, I, I need to to get that 10 litres of new water back in so the first thing up is to is to put all the the plants and things back in and, and you'll probably see from this bucket because I've kept a lid on you can see how it's all a bit steamed up which is exactly why I put a lid on really it's just to keep the moisture in here so um, the first thing I'm going to put back is the um, um, is the filter. It needs a clean, but I'm not going. I'm not going to do that today. I, I'm, I, I'm, I'll probably do that in maybe tomorrow or, or the next day. But so so this is going to go back in first.
So all we need to do now is put in the replacement water. So this is heated, so it's the same temperature as the aquarium. Um, it's also treated with um, a product that will um, sort of dechlorinate uh, the water. I, I tend to use Aquasafe, uh, or largely use Aquasafe. So I'm go I need to put uh, 10 litres back in, which replaces the 10 litres I, I took out. So there you go. Okay, so what have we done? Well, we have cleaned completely under the ceramic media. We've got rid of all that waste. We have therefore reduced our nitrate levels in the aquarium. We have uh, happy fish. <laughs> and we have a very clean looking aquarium. And what were we trying to do? Well, we're trying to get rid of this stuff, which is uh, the stuff that I got from uh, from the vacuum. And it, 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 even though I use a, a vacuum to clean, uh, there is still, as you can see, it's all over my fingers, um, quite a lot of stuff, uh, waste um, from the fish and from food the fish don't eat. And it's it, it's all quite disgusting really <laughs> but um it, it, it's really good to get rid of it so so that's what we've done so that that is how you do what i would call a a three month water change uh, and that's all you need to do really um uh, going forward um you you, you uh, you do this every sort of three months and and the stuff in here you can see that but it, um, it's not good <laughs> but anyway um, so that's all you need to do so you do your weekly change you do your uh, monthly change which is more about the filter and then every three months or thereabouts depending on the number of fish you have and a range of other things you undertake a uh, clean, uh, clear out of your ceramic media, a removal of your ceramic media and, and to clear out on, underneath. And that's it. You'll have a wonderfully clean and you will see it. You will see the difference. So anyway, that's it from me. I hope you found this video useful. Uh, a really big thank you for watching it and I will see you on the next video. And in the meantime, Take care. Bye.